Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for this Twinmotion 2021 tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the new Twinmotion Presenter Cloud feature. This Twinmotion Presenter Cloud is a cloud-based service that will allow you to export your presenter file on the web so you can easily share your project with your client or coworker simply running on a GPU cloud instance. So basically, your clients will just need to have a good internet and they will be able to visualize your project just within one of the supported web browser. So let's check how it works. So here I am in Twinmotion. The first way you can send your project to the cloud is using the push to cloud button that you can find in this upper ribbon that you have here. If you don't see this upper ribbon, you can click on the I menu over here, click on the last option here, the navigation toolbar, and you can switch from show to hide. First thing, before uploading that to the cloud, you will need to be logged in using your Epic Games account. So what I will need to do here is to click on the burger menu, and I will simply click on signing to Epic Games. Now that's done, I will simply click on the push to cloud button. This will package the project as it is, without collecting any image or video present that you already created. It just basically exports your scene, as you can see in the viewport right now. The export and the upload has succeeded, so now I can click on the Open Presenter Cloud button. So here, as you can see, this is the Web Drive portal. We have a couple of projects that has been already uploaded. And here we have the one we have just been looking at uh, during the, the start of the tutorial. The name is automatically created with the name of your Twinmotion file. From there, you can click on the share button and type any email address you want to share the project with. The people you send it to will just receive a link. Once they click on the link, they will be pushed in a new tab and it will start the GPU server instance. Here, what you can also do is visualize your presenter file before sending it to anyone, or you can click on the three dot button and you have a few options. Before checking how it looks inside uh, my new tab, what I will show you is back in Twinmotion, the second way you can export a presenter file to uh, this web interface. The second way will be actually to create a presenter file and to upload it. So I'll come to the media. In the image, as you can see here, I have already a couple of images created. What I will need to do is create a presenter file that uses some of those images. I will click on Create Presentation. Here, I will just load a couple of images. So we can start with some of those wide shots here. Then we can have some close-up shots on some of those uh, construction vehicles that we have inside Twinmotion. Then finally, some of those um, sport assets, maybe. So here, as you can see, I have uh, my presentation. I have some image uh, present inside my presenter file. Now, what I will do is come to the export doc. I will select my presenter, actually, to retrieve it a bit more easily inside my web drab portal, I will just rename it inside Twinmotion. So I will come back to the media, enter back the presenter option, and here I will just rename that as asset presenter. Now that's done, let me come back to the export doc. My presenter is correctly named, it's selected. I will click on the more here and I will switch from local to cloud. As you can see, this feature is in early access. First, because it's the first time we are releasing this kind of cloud-based service, but also because we plan to add many, many more features to this feature, many more options uh, that will come uh, later this year. So we click on Cloud, Early Access. I will come back here, and now I click on the Start Export button. Same thing here, this will create a presenter file. This will upload it on my uh, account. A couple of limitations is that uh, your Twinmotion scene and its texture should be under 2 GB. Now that's done, let me come back to my uh, portal, I will just press F5 to refresh my page. And as you can see here, I have my asset presenter. A same thing here, I can share it, but here uh, I will just click on the view button to visualize it. It creates a new tab and it starts to load the presentation. 
So while it's loaded, let me give you just a couple of other limitations. The presentation here using the early access is limited to 720p. It will be cranked up in the future. You will also need to have access to a Twinmotion full license to be able to export to uh, the cloud. And also right now, the touchscreen devices are not supported, but it's also planned for this year. So here, as you can see, I'm in my new tab. The, the presenter just finished uploading. I can start to turn the camera around. I can start to navigate inside my scene. And at any moment, I can also switch from my image I have set up down here. And as you can see here, it's just within a browser. I'm just in a new tab and I can send this presentation to anyone, to my client, to my coworker, so they can start to look at the project I've been working on. And I think that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching uh, this tutorial. See you for the next one. Bye everyone.